Jack Price Bizarre Adventure. You're a pro wrestler that goes up and down the roads and weird, crazy, and bizarre things are about to happen. Can you tell us a road story that fits that description? Oh, <laughs> actually, yeah. Um, so, this past summer, fall, I guess it's closer to fall. Anyways, uh, it was me, TJ Cannon, uh, referee Stuart Garvey, and Rick Jules. We were driving, we had driven out to BC, wrestled a couple of shows out there, and we were driving back. And because Stuart Garvey drove the whole way there, I agreed to drive the whole way home. And uh, so it was just, it, so I was driving overnight uh, through the mountains around here. So it gets pretty dark and I had never actually driven through the mountains myself. So it was the first time doing it. It gets really dark, like where we were, couldn't really see stars, couldn't see the moon, could like see almost nothing. It was wild. Um, anyways, it was only me and TJ that were awake at the time and we're driving along and like I'm a pretty big like I'm a I'm the type that believes that UFOs are a real thing. I don't know if they're necessarily aliens or what they are, but okay. I'm pretty convinced UFOs are legit. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> and so TJ's maybe less so, but he's still uh, he's at least willing to entertain that I believe in these things. And so we were kind of, I don't know we had kind of been talking about that stuff. And as we're talking about it, driving along, and like I said, it is it is black. It is like the only light that I can that I registered as we're driving was the light from the headlights on the van. Like if I would have shut the lights off, I'm pretty sure it just would have been pitch black. Uh, so we're talking about UFOs, and then all of a sudden, the light there was a light in the sky ahead of us, and it was green. And it ripped through, like ripped across the sky, and then disappeared. And I don't mean like it burnt out. I mean like it went past where we could see, like it went behind the mountain. And I'm not saying it was a UFO. I'm not, I don't know if it was like just like a meteor streaming in and we just didn't see it burn up. I don't know what it was exactly. But because we had been talking about UFOs and then that happened, it like both of us were like, what? We're just like, what did we just see? Oh my goodness. And we're like, I was like, oh my God, like, what if that was he? And we started having like, you know, how you get freaked out, you get caught off guard, and then all of a sudden stories start to snowball. And uh, we're like, oh, what if that was a UFO? Well, what does that mean? Was it from space? Is it like, stuff happening on earth like what and like when i say we were talking about it, i'm pretty sure it was mostly me and tj was just like trying not to make me feel crazy uh anyways like i just i ended up having to pull over and just like take a minute because i was like oh my god and calm down i was like okay you're just like it's four in the morning you're on two hours of sleep you're just a little bit crazy right now calm <laughs> down uh <clears throat> Yeah, we like I, I took a 15 minute chill and we're like, okay, I feel better. I realized I'm just being a crazy person. And we picked up driving and we continued the rest of the way. But that was just like blew my mind, the timing. And I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> Super cool though, seeing like it was like this really like, like green's my favorite color. So it's this like bright hunter green with like gold along the sides. It was super neat. It just also happened to terrify me at the same time. <laughs> That that does sound interesting. How, is that yeah. the only extraterrestrial encounter that you've had so far? <laughs> yeah, that is the only one so far. Okay. Well, it's definitely uh, in a bizarre adventure, if I do say so myself. <laughs> yeah, that was wild. 